Okay, so my cap permitting, I'm going to react to Ruby episode uh, 10 called Out in the Open. Um, I was going to say something, I completely had a brain fart. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm losing my sanity. Anyways, yes, I'm wearing my glycidin. I look like a fucking nerd. I look like some. I, all I need is like a, like a casual business suit. I look like one of those like interns that like, hates life and shit. So, last episode, to recap, basically, Grim Invasion, Watson, Tyrion doing the thing, Cinder and Neo made the return. I'm excited. This episode's actually, unfortunately, a little shorter than the rest, but anywho, let's just fucking dive into this bastard. Um, play, play. And again, there's a teeth. What's up with the no captions? Eh? Pandemonium in the city. Everybody run. Oh, that thing was cool. Was that a Nevermore? Frosted wings. Oh, wow, the soldiers are actually hitting, and he's dead. Say the soldiers are actually hitting things. They're actually contributing. Everybody run! Oh, oh man, that was close. They're just down Got like Jumanji up in this bitch. Here, kitty, kitty! Okay, Nora. Hammer time! Bonk. You booped it. And you broke it. Oh, here comes more. Is that CDs? Um. Damn it! I looked up the name of what they were before I started the episode. Now I can't remember what the name. Astons, for lack of a better term. Big ass. Oh. Big ass health. <laughs> I was on your team, dude. Oh, that's a nice touch. I like that it actually had to slow its momentum down and like bonked into the building. Nice little attention to detail, I like that shit. <laughs> That's a strong woman! Now. Good lord, she <laughs> That's ridiculous, dude. <laughs> She's somebody that, um... What's that, what's that redhead dude's name? You look like a bear, I'd fuck you. Shelters are gonna fill up soon. I haven't watched Game of Thrones so long, I can't remember this damn dude's name. The the, for those of you who have watched, it's a wildling dude. Yes, sir. Understood. Yeah, what the hell are you? Over and out. New orders. Fucking animals, dude. Let's like, go. seriously, fucking animals. Fucking birds and shit flying everywhere. <laughs> it's like, that's a little close for. I was a little close call there. Twice. They are pinned to the wall, quite literally. Take us to Atlas. We won't survive down here. Why isn't Ironwood doing anything? Okay, I couldn't tell if that dude's like, if it was that dude's hair doing that or if those were horns. I think those are horns, though. If so, that man is very brave for wearing his hair like that, looking like a Final Fantasy character. Atlas. Hey, Robin. Mantle. Velvet. I know you're scared. I'm here with General Ironwood, and we have a message for you. Oh, okay, they're uniting the people. What he has to say may sound unbelievable. Oh, no, he's going to spill the beans on Salem. True. An ancient and terrible evil lies oh, outside of our fuck. world. It was responsible for the destruction of Beacon, the attack on Haven, and for the recent attacks on Mantle. This powerful force goes by the name of Salem. He's doing it. He's doing the thing. Salem seeks only to divide us. <laughs> oh, that was cool. To turn us I like the upgrades Ren has with guns. If she can incite hatred in us, then we will lure in the Grim and destroy ourselves. Salem herself does not work alone. <laughs> our minions have invaded uh, our I like this. City. That's funny. Arthur Watts and Tyrion Kalos. These men are the ones responsible for the recent murders in Manton and for sabotaging the heating grid. Yeah, they seem miles. They're like, I don't even know. Actually, that was the only reaction from them. They're just kind of looking at each other. She wants. Instead, we must unite. And fight back together. Every single one of us. All right. Single file line. Place a hand on the shoulder in front of you. Eyes forward. Move. 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 Show okay. them how it's done, kid. As soon as he said move, move, move. It, uh, what the hell happened to your voice, dude? Uh, morning school route? This okay. <laughs> morning school route. To that was okay. That was kind of funny. That made, that made up for a little bit. Amity Tower is now completed. It's not like his voice was just going out. 
It will reestablish all global... Puberty be like that sometimes. The Coliseum remodeling was a communications tower. That's like a bait. Get this past me. The council and I have decided to evacuate everyone in Mansell to Atlas. I'm withdrawing all defenses from Amity in order to assist with propelling the Grim in Mansell. We must put aside our differences and band together. The way they're holding hands, I know it's part of her semblance, but I'm like waiting for a, a freaking pastor to come up and like, you know, and I'll pronounce you man and wife. The Grim should have destroyed our enemies, not made them friends! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the choice of words there is a little funny. I'm need sorry. To keep their attention on Mantle for as long as possible. You want more chaos than a grim invasion. To be fair, the grim invasions have been lackluster. That, wouldn't it be you? If you've made it to your local shelter, like grim invasions, like mm, lose a few robots. 17, I'll be seeing you personally. Well, they're baiting the shit out Come of these two. Come to think of it, I do have an idea. I still can't believe those idiots beat us here. Vacuo was supposed to be the next target. She's a plan, Cinder. That's what you get for not showing up for the meeting. Changed. I mean, you were kind of semi almost dead. Find him. Take it. No! We get what I need first. Then we get what we want. Now go. She cares more about power than revenge. Hmm. Ironwood's been uh, at least fits her character. For years. Tonight I'm going to find her. The Man, Sarah could more than make up for her. Threaten what he has, and he'll Because she could snag two relics protect. and get the Winter Maiden. That's like half of the shit they need. Yeah, quite literally half the shit they need. Penny returneth. Oh, wait, no, she was in she was in the last episode, wasn't she? Or at least episode eight. No, yeah, she was in the last episode. What the hell am I talking about? Oh, she returns to mantle, is what I meant to say. Nice. Okay, wow, that actually like worked. I was Edward expecting it. I don't know. Is... How it's going in this show is weird. There. Holy shit, that's a big one. <laughs> Let's toss our hooks so bad it's almost poking the dude in the eye. <laughs> or the eyes, I should say. Flee, children. To safety, you must go. Time to channel in thine silver eyes. Or not. Maybe I'll just bust. Oh, okay. That works too. Oh! Ow! Got a man down! Penny! Uh, are you okay? Ouch! <laughs> Those tusks sure are dangerous. They sure are. Such a nonchalant ouch! I think I have a plan. What is it? I almost gave her the red ring of death. <laughs> Oof! Yeah, you guys probably want to get up here and help uh, Harry, because she's kind of getting her ass kicked. Oh no, not the Iron Man suit! Oh no, not the Aura! Actually, I don't think her Aura went down, I guess she's damaged badly. Oh, that, that is something famous, I think. Never mind. I was going to say that's kind of a dumb line, but I'm like, nah, it fits Penny. So it works. Why don't you need some? I'm a far rim laser. Okay, I guess we're gonna cut the tusk off. Oh, 
Oh, we're going to impale it. Oh, wow. I actually kind of felt bad for that thing. That sound it made, I'm, I'm actually kind of sad. Even though that Grim doesn't have a soul or whatever. Yeah, they saved us! The protector of I don't know, Peter, Peter's probably going to have a word with Rooster Teeth over that one. That was a low-hanging fruit joke, I, I know. This is going really well. A little right too here. well. Miss Hill, the southern outskirts are clear. It should be safe to begin evacuations now. Then again, this is only episode 10. Shit can change. Make sure you get these people to safety. I'm gonna check for any stragglers. Because, I mean, things were... No, episode... No, episode 10... No, episode 11 of Volume 3, where everybody gets their... Yeah, it was episode 11. Robin Hill! For such a little bird, you have quite the impact around here. Bringing hope and a smile wherever you go. <laughs> okay, we're sounding a little too much like the Joker. I find it upsetting. Let me tell you how I got these scars. Oh, so serious. I like Tyrion, but yeah, that's Sorry, a little too jokery. I really wanted to pummel you on my own, but the general. That's a phrase. <laughs> well, you're not the only one with a grudge. You'll both have to get in line. Three on one. I don't know, Tyrion seems to handle crowds well. I think he'll be alright. I am interested to see that fight, though. That's, that's gonna be a fucking kick-ass fight. It's the Doctor. Kinda weird being back in Am Am Amity Arena. Jesus, I can't speak English. Hmm. I don't know why that's such a hard word to say for this me. It just is. do the trick. Although I wouldn't exactly call it finished. You've been trapped, or you've been baited. You're trapped. Arthur Watts. James Ironwood. Welcome. <laughs> that was a very menacing welcome. It wasn't finished. It was bait. You've been had, good sir. <laughs> Dramatic hero entrance. No, James. This place has always been a technological marvel. Truly. Oh, this is going to be good. Even you went and uh, did all this. The different types of dust, the biome system, and of course, everything that goes into controlling them. Uh-oh. Hey, do we think that part over there, Ironwood, that Watts can just hack this shit? I mean, he's still got access to all your crap. Which I don't get why he doesn't just get the robots turning against Atlas, because he has, well, he has access still, I think. And even though Jacques isn't a councilman anymore. That is something I'm, I'm going to need to think a little on, because I'm, I'm kind of unsure how they handled Jacques. Or at least his downfall. I feel like that got resolved a little too quickly. At the risk of sounding cliche, James. I oh, that's a cool looking gun. Without a fight. Oh, that's it? Wow, that, that went quick. Okay, um, not really a whole lot to discuss. Uh, delete. Uh, yeah, not really a whole hell of a lot to discuss, because I was mostly just them fighting Grimm. Um, well, I mean, I guess there is the fact that uh, at least everybody in Mantle and Atlas knows that uh, Salem's a thing, and they didn't panic. I again raise the question, why, are, why were we scared of telling the world about Salem? Because, the, like I said, and I think it was either Last Reaction or Episode 8, the greatest, um, or no, I said it in my, uh, that big, long, fucking three-hour recap we did. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he never existed, which is exactly what Salem did. And for some reason, Ironwood and Oz thought it was a brilliant idea not to tell the world. I just, yeah, that's thing, new socks, you get fuzzies everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I find it I, such a weird thing, like, you know, if we tell the world that Salem exists, it'll cause a panic, like, no, you'll have a common enemy. Because everybody would have a reason to be against Salem. Like, nobody's... What? <laughs> Instead of just like, oh, the Grim are just the thing, you know? Hey, uh, where did the Grim come from? And all this other shit. 
Um, and so everybody knows that Watts is alive. Everybody knows that Tyrion Watts are presently in Atlas. Although that's kind of, uh, I mean, they got what they needed done. It's just the Grim, I guess, was supposed to finish everything off. But <laughs> that's their mistake for relying on the Grim because the Grim never gets shit done. Uh, I think they're like zero oh, and fifteen for successful attacks. Uh, when you, you know when you bring it up to Volume Three, that was mostly Cinder, Adam, and the White Fang screwing messing things up. The Grim didn't really do anything. They were just kind of they were just adding to the pandemonium. They weren't really a weapon. They were more of a distraction for Cinder to go into the vault and steal or kill the maiden and, and try to steal the relic, but unable. But she was not able to. Um. Yeah, I thought the speech Ironwood gave, pretty good. Um, Robin, I, I'm really growing on me. I'm like that we're all working together now. I really like that. Um, this this felt like a lot of setup, so I think next episode is going to be, is gonna it's, it's setting up for the, the big fights for next episode. It was just we needed to get from point A to point B so that we could have these fights go down. Um, that said, I guess it would not be inaccurate to say this was a hyper-extended trailer for episode 10, uh, or episode 11, excuse me. But, I mean, it, it was all right. Um, again, not really much to say other than Ironwood spilled the beans on Salem. And Tyrion and Watts didn't really seem all that bothered that now everybody knows about Salem. They're more bothered. They're like, ah, they're all working together. The grammar's supposed to scare them, not make them friends. Which, what a weird line. I think it was, I don't think it's the line itself. I think it was just Tyrion's delivery. It just, it just sounded so funny to me. Um, and yeah, a little too ham on the Joker, um, thing. Like, I don't know, it, it fits his character, sure, but I'm just like, you're really sounding exactly like the Joker. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it, it kind of, kind of rubbed me the wrong way, but I mean, if we were doing voice impressions, hey, <laughs> 10 out of 10, that was perfect. Um, but yeah, um... Not really much to say other than, you know, they they had the uh, they had a fight with some Grim. They set up some other fights, and Atlas now knows that Salem exists. Sorry if you heard the slurping. Um, yeah, not really much to, wow, this is gonna Hello cat. Uh this could be a relatively short video, probably the shortest one I've done so far. Then again it was a short episode and a lot of action and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I don't feel any sense of danger. Um, that is enough. That is one thing I want to say is like, I don't feel like any of these characters are in danger right now. Um, maybe I'm supposed to feel that later, maybe, but right now I definitely did not feel any tension whatsoever. Um, then again, I haven't felt tension in a Ruby episode since, fuck, volume, maybe volume six? No, not even volume six. Like, I want to believe these characters are actually in danger. That's, the, that's another thing that's kind of that Ruby's kind of slacked on because when's la like the last time we had a major good guy character die was what volume three, I think, yeah, last major death was volume three. Hell, even the bad guys haven't had a major death. I mean, Leonardo Lionheart, but nobody really gave a flip about him. Flip, that's a new word. I made a new word today, folks. But yeah, um, that that has been a problem with this show is that it's you never feel. I never personally, I never feel tense. Um. They, I, I will give them this though. They do not give a. They're not like a uh, fairy tale where they just throw in a bunch of like false flags or fake out deaths or anything like that. I will at least give them that, um, because goddamn fairy tales fucking notorious for that. Um, they have. To, I think they've set the fucking benchmark for how. No, actually, no. The benchmark for the worst. I would say not the benchmark of how. How do you? How do you screw up your character deaths? Now I did read. Wow, my voice went out there. Man, I had, I had, a, I had a Miles Luna moment there. Um, move, move, move. Sorry, I'm, I'm not making fun of Miles himself. I'm making fun of how his voice sounded right there. I, I don't think that was intentional, but they, they probably could have edited that a little bit better. Um, but yeah, the editors of Fairy Tale apparently were the reason why a lot of the characters do not get killed off. Um, which I think is such horseshit, because you could see where the author wanted to kill some of these characters off. And I, there were places where, like, this character should have died there, that character should have died there. There is one character in particular that comes back to life, or, well, technically was never dead. Um, and I, I that, that just ruined so much fucking character development for, like, five people. And even when this character came back, they did not do a fucking thing. They literally contributed nothing to the story. Like, there was no reason to bring this character back. No reason at all. 
like you, you you show the backstory like how this character used to be with these you know with the fairy tale crew that's how you build emotional like um development because it really developed uh two characters in particular really got a lot of character development out of that and then you know they bring this character back and now the shit's done uh, yeah, I'm trying to be vague so that way I don't spoil anybody that potentially wants to watch Fairy Tale, but I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and give you a little, little, little um, advice. The, this show is largely a waste of fucking time. Um, it's got good arcs, but consistently the fights are redundant. The characters, hell, the characters might be the only strong point of that show because the fights are nothing to write home about. The plot is fucking mundane, boring. The villains, for the most part, suck ass. There's only like maybe two or three that I liked. Well. I liked all of Tartaros. All of them I liked. Why am I talking about Fairy Tale? What the fuck? Um, <laughs> wow, I went on a fucking useless tangent there and wasted everybody's time, unless you clicked off the video, which you probably have already. Most people just watch the reaction, and they don't care about the post-discussion. That's fine. I do the same. I do that shit myself. Um, but yeah, um, not much to say. I am excited for the next episode, but again, I didn't feel any tension. I didn't feel... Hell, you, hell I was having a fucking blast watching this, quite literally. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, sorry, I had like, I don't know, I think I had a stroke or something. Um, I just, my brain was like, wait, what did I say? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to end this video before I embarrass myself further. So you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all for whatever video I upload next. Might be another Dark Souls boss committing suicide.